So you're a kids book author from South Africa and you have yes. published already 17 books. Uh, that's 18 now. <laughs> It's 18 now. <laughs> okay, sorry. Yes. So what's, what's the title of the, of the latest one? Uh, the latest one is called Drew the Dragon. I really like that one. Yeah, I'm very proud of that one. Um, could you tell us a little bit something about yourself, like in general? So how, how did you become a book, a, a book author? Okay, um, so in general, um, I'm a qualified accountant at the moment. Um, I started writing books when I was about 10 years old. Um, I used to write uh, children's books um, and stories, just uh, whatever came to mind. And um, I won one or two competitions at school. Um, I always had a love for reading and writing because um, my dad was a journalist. My late brother was a poet. He used to write poetry. Well, between the three of us, we were quite avid readers and uh, and writers. So it's really in the family, the talent for writing yeah. and telling stories. Mm -hmm. So can you can you tell maybe um, about the stories? So what what are the topics? Um, yeah, what 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 is the message? Okay, so basically, I try to uh, instill uh, life lessons, important life lessons in in all my books. This is obviously twofold to help both the parents and also to teach the kids. Mm -hmm. Some of them, some of the stories I got were from way back when I had written them when I was a kid. And then I just renamed them like um, Donk and the Stubborn Donkeys is one of those stories I wrote when I was young. Um, but I just renamed them and tweaked them a bit because obviously I couldn't remember 100%. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically it. And then obviously I get... Uh, my uh, inspiration also from my kids. Um, oh, yes. Like from, yeah, from my daughter, um, Elaine the elephant was, was got from her because she is one of those people who wanted, likes to give up easily. So Elaine the elephant is about, um, you know, if you first, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And um, that was from my daughter. Uh, and then Chuck the cheetah was about, um, you know, not being... Um, winning and losing graciously because my son is a big football fan and a big football player and uh, he hates losing. So I wrote Chuck the Cheetah to, to, to show that you can't win them all. You win some, you lose some. You have three kids? Yes, I've got three kids. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, the first yeah. one is, very, is a woman, actually. She's 21. <laughs> Oh, she's 21, okay. Yeah. <laughs> does, does she also read your kids' books? Maybe not. not really. She reads them, but I mean... <laughs> so how do, you, how do you find your um, illustrators? Do you, do you contact them? Or you, you, are these people from South Africa? Or you find them online? Or Okay, so initially, um, when I first started out, uh, my first illustrator was actually from Pakistan. Uh -huh. That was for my first, uh, I think it was for my first seven or eight books. And then I got one here for Harry the Honest Horse. I used a South African illustrator, but unfortunately he disappeared off the face of the earth. I tried to get in touch with him for more books, but I just couldn't get, get a hold of him. Not, not on Instagram or anywhere. Nowhere. <laughs> like in and then currently I'm using another South African lady. She does all my typesetting and the cover design. So for all my latest books, it's a lady by the name of Jane. She's based in Durban, which is, um, which is a coastal city in South Africa. And I am based in Johannesburg. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite impressed um, that you engage in kids education as a man. I just looked at a statistic, for example, in the UK. And so, mm. uh, 75.5% of the teachers are female and mm. of the remaining male uh, teachers, only 14% are um, teaching at primary or uh, nursery uh, level. So there are hardly mm. any men who really engage in uh, early years education. Uh, okay. How is it in South Africa? Is it kind of a similar situation? Yeah, it, um, it's also kind of similar. Um, South Africa, uh, it's not 75, but it's 68% um, are women. Um, out of those, only 14% become, you know, headmistresses or principals. 
So most of them just end up in uh, as being teachers, yeah. And then you find that the, the, the principals are mostly men, but the teachers are mostly women. To do with, with um, uh, salaries, maybe some men think it's not really lucrative to be yes. an early yeah. year yeah. teacher. Yes. So you told me also that you that you're doing a um, you're offering a uh, self publishing course. Yes, um, I've got yeah. an online self publishing course. Um, uh, it, the first um, it's made up of uh, four modules. Um, the first module, if you sign up, is for free, and then the mm. other three are at a, at a very reasonable price. Now, that I'm just saying there's a lot that uh, people can, can get from this course because it is quite uh, demanding when it comes to self-publishing. You, you, and I've been through the whole journey, so I just wanted to share it with everyone. Well, actually, do you have a website? Yes, I do. Um, yes. I've got a website. It's www.kamulenga.com. And um, on there... There's the link to the self-publishing course. There's the link to all the books. There's the link if you'd like to, if uh, someone wants to book me for virtual book readings or for on-site book readings as well. You have been in London for a book reading. Have you been before in London? or? I've actually been to London. Uh, that was my third time. The first to complete my uh, accounting um, studies. But that was way back when I was a young man. <laughs> Um, and then I went back to Zambia. Uh, then the second time I went was to, for my brother-in-law's wedding. And, and um, we stayed there for about three weeks. Uh, and my wife's brother is there as well. Um, and the third time, which was in April, was specifically for the book readings. And I also attended the London Book Fair. Yeah, so it was all at, 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 at different libraries all across London. I, I think it was actually... Yeah, four libraries and five readings. Yeah, hopefully you can you can come again to to read. Yes, I'd love it. <laughs> yeah, yes, because I think it's it's inspiring, and I think you're a great role model. The main thing is obviously it's really hard work um, being a self-published author. The, the the joy you get out of it is like from the wonderful reviews that you get, and also when you're doing when I'm doing the book readings, just to see. The, the, the kids um, and their eyes light up when you're reading to them. Um, just recently, I went to a, a nursery school and um, I was told by the teacher that she had a child who was ADHD. So um, don't be surprised if he's not listening and he's not concentrating. But mm -hmm. after the reading, she said that she had never seen him sit still for so long. And just to get such feedback just gives me so much joy. And... Um, yeah, I, I, I just love it. Um, and I also just wanted to say one more thing is that I, I currently have a middle grade novel that I wrote, and, um, but that will not be self-published. I was approached by a publisher here in South Africa. I'll be signing the publishing agreement, I think, next week, and it will probably be released in September. So that's for kids aged about... 10 to 13, yeah, they, they would enjoy that novel. Uh, currently, my picture books are for kids up to the age of eight. So this one will be for the bigger children. Okay. So thank you very much for your talk. No, thank you, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah, keep in touch on Instagram, of course. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes, okay. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Thanks. Thanks.